Very good. Uh, good evening. Thank you, uh, Ambassador Sados, uh, for your kind information. Ambassador Sados served my country for nearly five years. I now also have another ambassador. Uh, I forgot the, sorry. Morelli. Morelli also served for five years. So I'm honored to be among the best of your diplomats who have served my country. And uh, certainly it's an honor for me to be here with my colleague. Well, I'm given a topic which is, uh, I would say, it's a very broad topic, you know. We can keep on talking about culture, about religion and so on. But uh, I think I have just uh, confined my presentation in a very uh, informal manner. Because I think I'd like to convey what I would like to say about ASEAN in the ASEAN way. Uh, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, if we talk about inter-religious, we talk about multicultural, I think it combines everything. It combines the daily uh, way of living of all of us, not only in ASEAN, but also in Latin America. And uh, if you talk about ASEAN, everybody thinks about uh, diversity. We are diverse. We are diverse, I mean, I mean, in terms of we have many culture, we have many religions, uh, we speak many languages. Uh, just to share with you in Malaysia, we have uh, Malays, we have the Chinese, we have the Indians. So we have Islam, we have Buddhism, we have Hinduism. But what makes Malaysia and the rest of the ASEAN different? We <coughs> live in a very tolerant, we live in unity. Although we are, uh, we make uh, out of a big number of religion, people and so on. So that dif make different between ASEAN and the rest of the world. I'm not telling this because Latin America is not united. But I think it's been uh, proven and it's been seen that many Western countries previously have doubts about ASEAN. But we have proven ourselves. After 50 years, there are many countries, many regional, regional blocs are now knocking on our doors. They want to learn the experience of ASEAN, how we manage to keep this uh, unity among ourselves. I think my colleague, the ambassador of Thailand, has spoken of people to people exchange and so on. And also my colleague from Vietnam mentioned many things about uh, the subject that I am also touching. And I think that is what uh, I would like to share with you, the differences that we have in ASEAN. And uh, no doubt, uh, we have uh, a culture of uh, differences uh, between us, but if you were to visit in 10 ASEAN country, everybody will say they are ASEAN nationals. Why? Because I think there is some commonality there, at least one of the 10 ASEAN countries, or more than three or four ASEAN countries, speak the same language. Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, southern part of Thailand, southern part of the Philippines. They speak the same Bahasa Malaysia. And also Malaysian, Malaysian Chinese. And the biggest uh, community in Singapore, the Chinese speak the same language. Same goes in Thailand. Some part of uh, Thailand speak Chinese. Uh, I never mentioned Philippines. There are also some part of Philippines who also they can understand Chinese. So language is a commonality that binds us together. Yeah? So this is some of the uniqueness of ASEAN. And uh, I think the ASEAN leaders' uh, main vision was to make ASEAN a caring society. Yeah? This is what I think was the idea way back in 1967. And I believe we have proven that. We are a caring society. We have been uh, holding, upholding this main pillar since 1967. And we are very conscious of our ties of history. I believe any nation who wants to develop, they should not forget their history. The failure of many countries because they tend to forget who were they before and now. But we in ASEAN, we learn from our mistakes. We evolve from our history. And we are aware of our, of our cultural heritage, and we are bound by a common regional identity. So that is 
on the uh, multicultural path. But uh, with uh, due respect, I think we can talk about we have the commonality, we speak the same language, we, we have the same religion in a way, but there are also differences. So these differences, I think, have been dealt with because of our belief to, to have the same objective and goals. We want to arrive to a goal and we need to give away with the differences that we have. And I think since the 50 years, we managed to forego the differences. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, as mentioned by my colleague from uh, Philippines, uh, to share with you the figures, we are 4.5 million square meters, the 10 countries. We have a GDP of 630 trillion. We have FDI of 120 billion, and uh, our population is 630. So it's really actually bigger than what was mentioned in Latin America. In Latin America, you have a population of 307 million. Yeah. So there, there is this big difference there. But how do you maintain this? How did ASEAN manage to have this such a big population and we achieve a very big GDP? Sure, there is something there. So the points that I think have really brought us together is the uh, points of I mentioned to you, the, the people of ASEAN, the culture of ASEAN, the language of ASEAN, and also the economy might that we have because of our clear objective. Uh, you'd be surprised if I were to tell you uh, the biggest Islam population is not in Saudi Arabia, it's not in Africa, it's not in Saudi Asia, but it's in Indonesia. Yeah? 90% of Indonesia population of 240 million are Muslim. Yeah? Same goes, the biggest Christian country is not in the Europe, but it's in the Philippines. They have the biggest Christian population. So, well, this might be an eye-opener to the rest of the world. You know, what, what is the ambassador of Malaysia is talking about? I'm not talking something new. I'm just reiterating what is written in the books. But with this different and with this was uh, religion and so on, ASEAN is still there to be reckoned with. I'm very proud to say, Besides having 10 ASEAN countries, we have 10 dialogue partners. And these 10 dialogue partners are so-called big countries. They, they have big economy might, but why did they knock on the door of ASEAN? I have to use that word. Yeah? It's not ASEAN invited them. They came to ASEAN because they saw the opportunity. They saw that what can they achieve from ASEAN. Yeah, so this is a success story that I think now I will say personally, if all of you does not agree with me, I think ASEAN is more powerful and bigger than the EU. Yeah. EU has their problems. We also have our problem, but we manage to contain our problem because of our belief. We want to move forward and we believe in dialogue. We believe in having closed door dialogue among our 10 countries. We do not want interference from the outside. So that is also part of the culture, part of, part of the interreligious factor. Uh, but I think I do not want to just talk about rosy picture of ASEAN. Let's talk about something that was raised by Ambassador Zung from Vietnam. He mentioned about terrorism. Yeah? So when you talk about terrorism, people always uh, uh, talk about religion, which I think it is a very wrong combination. No religion talks about bad things. All religion talks about good things, yeah? But, uh, well, as mentioned by Mr. Zoom, the second most uh, dangerous uh, region now is ASEAN because of the problems that we have. But I believe since the problem started way back 10 years ago, ASEAN have managed to continue. We managed to do it in the ASEAN way, we managed to have dialogues, we managed, managed to have engagement, and we are in the right track. I will say that soon. Uh, I also would like to uh, bring to your attention, uh, in ASEAN, 
since it is 50 years. So we've been uh, having a very, uh, I will say, uh, a colorful cultural activities. We have uh, been a very peaceful region. Uh, we have achieved good uh, economic performance. I think we've been proven by the uh, uh, data given by my colleague from Philippines. But there are also challenges. So the biggest challenge I think now is religion and culture brings good returns in terms of tourism. I think you will believe me, you will agree with me on this. Why ASEAN countries receive big tourists? Because I think the rest of the world wanted to experience the culture of these 10 countries, certainly the food of these 10 countries, gastronomy, and also the arts and whatever we can offer to them, which is a good, uh, I would say, revenue for the countries. Uh, if I were to give you just one comparison, Malaysia, last year, we managed to bring in 28 million tourists, and we made 19 billion US dollars. That's only Malaysia. Don't forget Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand, Philippines. So we have really a very good uh, revenue from tourism, from the tourists. But what I'm trying to say here, this culture, the, the different culture, the different the, uh, multi-religion that we have can also be a problem to, uh, to us. Yeah? Because when we have differences, it can bring sometimes a problem to us in the long run. But still, I believe we have managed to overcome this problem. Yeah? And uh, as I mentioned, we want to portray a caring society, a unified uh, society, and we believe that we can bring betterment not only to 10 ASEAN countries, but to the rest of the world. So let's talk about Latin America. I think now we are engaging my colleague from Indonesia will speak about ASEAN Mercosur. So I believe for my friends, my brother and sister from Latin America, I think the time is for us to get together, to, to look into the commonalities that we have. And I think the differences is not a big issue. We can overcome the differences. But it's only and when these two blocks are, are willing to sacrifice or to give away some of the main points that we have and we do not want to share. So if we do not want to share this, I don't think so that we can move forward. Yeah? Uh, I do not like to take more of your time because I believe if I were to talk about uh, the uh, interreligious and the multicultural, I would not stop because there's a lot of things to talk about. But just to give you uh, a wrap up of what I have seen, I believe that ASEAN has proven to the rest of the world with the big differences we have, but we manage to be unified. We have a good 50 years, and we will be here for another 50 years, certainly. And with that, I thank you to all of you, and uh, it's a really honor to be here. Thank you.